Hi, I'm CJ Altberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So we've got a brand new Cimarron Showstar LX sitting behind me. This is a 23 model. It is a 10 pin that we're gonna walk you through. We did some things a little bit different on this one. Put a little bit more tack, a few more amenities in that tack room for you if you're showing off this trailer. This trailer fits a lot of just the bill and, and it's gonna make life a lot easier when you're actually at the shows showing off of this trailer. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the drawing before we walk you through the trailer itself. So again, it's a 10 pin. It's 28.3 on the floor is the floor length on it. We put a little bit bigger tack room on it. It's about an eight foot size tack room. It's seven feet, 11 and a half inches. We're gonna call it an eight. We're gonna round up. Um, eight foot wide with it being the LX model. We went a little bit taller. We went with a 6.8 with this one, just because of some of the things we did on this trailer itself. Let's walk you through. I'll show you some of the standard features on an LX and then some of the stuff that we upgraded. One of the very first things that's gonna be standards is gonna be that electric over hydraulic jack by equalizer. This is the jack that Cimarron uses. We absolutely love that they use this one on these trailers because this does have a manual override as well. So if you get in an emergency situation, we can pump it on or off the truck itself. With that, you're gonna get a battery box and a battery in it, along with a battery disconnect. That disconnect is something we added years ago. Cimarron finally made it a standard option. When you go ahead and put the electric over hydraulic jack on there, the reason why we were a big component of it and we're adding it to our trailers is because when you go to park this trailer, the last thing you do is just reach up there, turn it to the off position, and it kills all power to this trailer. So it's not actually draining our battery if you accidentally leave a tack light on, stall light on, load light on, and drain down the battery. So that's a standard when you get this option here. If you notice these two pieces of aluminum that come off, this is actually generator bracket. So you can take a portable generator, set it on there, strap it down. So when you go to shows, you've got a power source right here. Well, how do we get power to the trailer? Up underneath here, and it's between the side of the trailer and that battery box, you're going to notice that plug-in up there. That is a plug-in for a 30 amp cord. So when we get into this tack room, I'm going to reference that. But you can have your generator sitting right here, plug in that 30 amp cord, run it right to there. <laughs> now, <clears throat> with this being an LX, LX comes standard with the polished extrusion. So you're gonna notice the top rail, the wraparound nose, and on the bottom rail it's polished, and then it will continue into the actual extrusion, extrusion itself on the side of this trailer. This one's black sheeted, white is standard. We upgrade a lot of these trailers to the black, the charcoal metallic, the silver metallic. Those are the most popular colors. Um, anytime you jump up to one of those, there is an up charge. There's custom uh, colors that you can get as well. Maybe you want it fully polished. We've done those before as well. And if you look at that top rail right there with that polish, you'll notice the button LED marker lights. That is now standard on the Cimarron's. It's a small light, puts off a lot of light, we put a few extras on this. It really dresses this trailer up. Um, that's one thing that we've noticed when we build these for customers. A lot of lights is a very popular option. So we went ahead and did that on this trailer. Now, like I mentioned, eight foot front tack. Over the years, we've just noticed that we've been putting larger tack rooms on these trailers. We want to be able to carry a lot more stuff. But this one here, again, to be able to show off of this trailer, this trailer is going to have a lot of things going on when we get into this tack room itself. Very first thing you're going to notice when you step in here right behind me is a couch. So this will jackknife style, futon style, lay down into a bed. But now you've got a place to sit down, kind of relax if you're showing off of this trailer, um, kind of <coughs> get out of the elements. Get in here, kind of relax, let your kids maybe sit down, enjoy themselves a little bit, eat some lunch, something along those lines. So again, this will fold down into a couch as well. Above it, we put some cabinets just to store some items. <laughs> it's a little cold here in Colorado, we're a little froze up. Um, but we've got two of these. They're on a gas shock, store some items there. We put a little shelf over here. 
you'd maybe get a small little microwave to maybe set up there. If you notice, we've got a plug-in right above that. Or a great place to plug in a phone, set it up there, out of the way and charge up. So that's going to reference back to what we were talking about on the outside. So right below this box is going to be that plug-in. This is a 30 amp breaker package along with a converter. So when we're plugged into that power, whether it's that portable generator that you're carrying or another power source, we're going to charge our 12 volt battery that was in that battery box. But now we have that power on this top rail. We'll show you more power when we get into the stall area and why we did that package there. The other thing, again, kind of just having some nice amenities when you're showing off this trailer, an air conditioner as well. So got an air conditioner here in this front tack room. The side walls are lined and insulated, insulated rough standard. So it's gonna keep it nice and cool in this front tack room as far as that's concerned. Got a light up in the gooseneck deck. Again, we carpeted those walls. You're gonna notice this gray rubber flooring. We did this on the deck. We've got it on the drop wall and it continues down to the floor. This is a very popular option that we're doing on a lot of trailers today. The reason why is it's not the carpet that's gonna stain over time, hold that kind of musty smell over the time as well. Really easy to clean. It's not like a rubber mat where we can still get stuff underneath it. It's cut to fit. They silicone the side, so it's a really nice fit and finish to this. Um, again, become a very popular option that we're doing on a lot of trailers, not just these show trailers. We're incorporating on show cattle trailers over onto the horse side into their tack rooms as well. We've got a boot box here, 18 inch boot box, store some small items. Great place, throw that cord set in there. It does double as another bench for you as well to sit on. And then it, you can hop up into the gooseneck. We like these 18 inchers because it'll hold the, the feed buckets, uh, water buckets a little bit better rather than the 12 inch. Above it is gonna be a shelf with a clothes rod. We can throw some more items up in here. It's got a lip so things aren't gonna shift. Clothes rod there, hang some show clothes. Again, kids can hop up in here, change, get ready to go to the ring. Uh, they put a radius here on this corner just so we didn't have a sharp edge, anything like that. Another outlet in that top rail. We wanted them on both sides. Again, maybe charging some, uh, maybe a laptop, maybe cell phone, anything like that. But nice to have some power in here as well. And then the last piece is going to be the partition wall. Fully carpeted. We did this airliner track. So there's a lot of different... Um, pieces that you can add that'll actually hook into here. The hooks are really popular, especially when your feeders have the carabiners on them. You can move these around if you want and then hook them into place. But the ability to store some more items here, um, anything you want there, again, can hook. You can move them, strap them down, keep them in place. Then you've got your pass-through door that's gonna go into your stall area. So in this front tack room, Maybe you're getting some feed prepped or getting ready to go to the ring. Again, it's nice to be able to move between the actual front tack room and the stall area. The last piece as we come out of this tack room is gonna be the fold up step. It's on a gas shock. Again, it makes this transition, <laughs> excuse me, very, very easy and nice, especially more than likely you might have some younger juniors showing um, it's a pretty big step from where I'm at to this bottom rail of this door itself. So by having that step getting in and out of it, it does make it nice and easy as far as that's concerned. I'll shut this door so you can, there you can kind of see that black skin. And then again, it ties into the polished extrusion. Now we've got a, a side ramp right here. So if you're needing to come on or off this, the side of the trailer, you've got that option here. We put a gate over this opening. <clears throat> so we really like gates over openings, whether it's this side ramp, that escape door, and obviously when we get to the back of the trailer. But if you're showing off this, you wanna get a lot more airflow to it, you can drop this ramp, open that door, create a cross breeze. Um, it ties in really well with the drop windows. <laughs> Again, as we're trying to create uh, just a comfortable, you know, load space for the actual animals themselves, especially if you're showing. You know, air movement's different. Air movement when you're driving, um, 
you know, think about a real hot day where it's real stuffy, no wind, you know, it's miserable. You get a little breeze, you feel better. So when you're driving, we're gonna have that airflow through the trailer itself. But when you're at a show, a lot of times it's just dead air, unless you get some fans going, some items like that. We'll get we'll circled back around to that um, option as well. Load lights, so one kind of right between the front tack and actual side ramp, <coughs> and then one kind of over by the wheel, <coughs> excuse me, the wheel wells itself. There's a good look at those drop windows, jail bars as well. So you can open those up. The other piece to get a lot more airflow is gonna be this lower gap. It's on a gas shock as well. There's a plexiglass insert on the inside that we'll show you. We're just trying to create it, especially in these type of conditions, um, trying to keep them a little bit more airtight if possible. That's why the plexiglass is in there as well. Um, but if you think about this, Getting that airflow down to those smaller animals is really important. We can create a lot of that by having these drops. The other nice thing too is with that plexiglass, um, and as an option as far as the actual air gap and the exterior just closure of it, is you gotta remove all that and put it somewhere. This is really easy. Normally in the summer months, you're gonna have that plexiglass on the inside out. <laughs> so if you need to in the morning, it's cool, it warms up, you need to open these up. It's real easy to hop out of the truck drop all these all the way around the trailer really quick. We don't have to mess with that plexiglass as far as that's concerned. Amber turn signal. <coughs> we like putting this option on there. It works as a great indicator light, another marker light for us on these wider trailers, longer trailers, but it will blink when you put your actual blinker on itself, right and left, and when you brake, it'll indicate as well. These are long trailers. A lot of people don't pay attention to us. So let's give them an indicator in the middle of the trailer, kind of letting them know where we're wanting to go. And then this gives you a good look too. what we got going on here. We got a spread axle on this one. This trailer is going to pull phenomenally well by having the spread axle because it helps weight distribution, takes away some tongue weight. If you always think about these type of setups, you know, if you hit a real hard, you know, pothole or something along the lines with this axle, that axle is on the ground by the time it transitions you know, this axle's already recovered. So <clears throat> by having that spread and the way this trailer pulls, it does pull phenomenally well for that reason. We upgraded to some G-rated tires, so 14 plies. And if you notice, black and a silver rim itself ties in really well with the color of the trailer as far as the sheeting goes, and then the extrusion, the aluminum as well. Now, here's a Here's something you'll, you're gonna notice is this wraparound hinge on this back door. <coughs> so when you're showing off of these trailers, a lot of times with the standard hinges, they were 90 degree off of these trailers. So as hard as you were trying to park really close next to other trailers, getting you know hogs or, or any other project by them, uh, we like these wraparounds because again, now we can kind of get them on the side of the trailer out of the way. That's just something that's been Kind of something we've done over the last couple of years, just going to some shows, seeing it. Um, that was the one thing that 2020 did is a lot more show off the trailers. So let's try to make these a little bit more user friendly as far as that's concerned. <coughs> now, here's a good look at the back of this trailer. Let's start from ground up. So ramps, 50-50 split to match the doors. These doors are independent as well. So we don't have to shut one ahead of the other. You can open one or the other, drop the ramp as well. For again, younger uh, juniors that might be showing, these are a lot lighter uh, by having it split for them getting them up and down. Then we've got our gates over the opening there, as you can see. Then up top, we've got two 16 inch awning lights. Again, more light coverage for you. And one last piece, it's not lit up just because of the way it's plugged in, but these are reverse lights here in the middle. Again, as you get home late at night, get to unf unfamiliar, uh, places that maybe you can't quite see. Obviously the backup lights on the truck are a long ways away from the back of this trailer. It's nice to be able to put it in reverse, have some light coverage back here as you're backing up somewhere. <clears throat> that is again, another option that we're doing on a lot of trailers right now. So as we get into the stall area here, what we have is, <coughs> excuse me, is a 50, 50, 60, 40. So these are adjustable pins. The way we've got them set up right now is a 60-40, is a so we have more of an alleyway on this right-hand side. But <clears throat> the nice thing about these Cimarron's is 
If you want to convert them, they can convert extremely fast. So I'm going to do it here on this middle one. Basically, I just unpin it, swing it over, pull, set it into that rubber plunger, and then shut the gate. What did that take? Just a couple seconds. So really easy, uh, you know, just from a standpoint of being able to flip these to a 50-50 over to a 60-40. If you want to take sections out, you can. You can actually remove a post. You can gut this entire trailer pretty quickly by yourself. Putting them back in, there is a trick. Number your posts with a, with a Sharpie, one, and then work your way back. That way when you go to put them in, it's a lot easier, it flows a lot better. Believe me, it, it saves a lot of just hassle as far as that's concerned. But now we've got, again, the flexibility to open these up or as maybe some hogs get a little bit bigger, <coughs> maybe you're wanting to haul a little bit more in, in a, a stall space, having that rant or that alleyway, especially if you're showing off this trailer, it's nice to be able to do that as far as that's concerned. Now, also on these center gates, we did two feed rods. We did a low and a high, obviously, as things get a little bit bigger, we need to move those up and down. Obviously, we're not bedded in this, but you go to bed down in this trailer really well. <coughs> you know, it's nice to have these gates off the floor a little bit by doing that. Now, we don't do rubber mats on these. One, because hogs will root them up and it's just a pain. But the other thing too is, when we go to put these mats in, we gotta cut around all these posts. So putting them back in is a chore. So. We either like to go with no mats as we're standing in or do like a worm flooring, something along those lines where it's a permanent unpenetrable rubber mat. Uh, it does work as an insulation as well. If you wanted to add this, that to this trailer, uh, there's someone that we could outsource it with and have that done for you as well. <coughs> Here's a good look at that plexiglass on the inside of that exterior fold down slat that I was showing you. So again, it just allows it to kind of, you know, maybe seal it up a little bit more. We line and insulated the walls as well. So from the, the floor up, and then obviously we cap it off with that insulated roof <coughs> that's standard on every single Cimarron. This makes a massive difference. 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof by having this insulated roof on this trailer. Again, we're trying to keep these projects as comfortable and cool as possible, especially in the winter months. Um, and then obviously in the, in the winter months when we get into those and we need to put some heaters in here, you know, it's gonna help as far as that's concerned, keeping it nice and warm in here for our, for our animals as well. Plenty of lights, LED lights all the way throughout it. And then again, more outlets, power outlets in this stall area. So over here on driver's side, we've got a couple of them. We've got three of them. They're spaced evenly, one at the front, one at the middle, one towards the back. And then we put some of that airliner track on some of these, uh, si or, excuse me, uh, roof bows. Uh, that way we can actually go in, attach. A 12 inch fan works best. Uh, when you get into the 24s, they just hang down so far from the wall itself, or uh, excuse me, the ceiling. A 12 works a little bit better. I've seen some people get some different configurations where they'll hang their heaters off of here as well. Um, so there's some different pieces that will go in and again, connect into these airliner tracks uh, that we have on the roof bows. We have two-way roof vents throughout the trailer as well. Again, manipulating airflow throughout the trailer itself. Um, drop windows, lower air gaps. You know, we can do a lot of different things to keep animals nice and cool in here. We also frame for a second AC unit in this stall area. It'll need an additional <clears throat> a power source if you're wanting to run both of them at the same time because we're just set up with one 30 amp package right now uh, the last piece kind of up the front is a storage tray that's for this plexiglass so if we take this plexiglass out it has a place to live that's one thing i really like is cimarron always wants to try to find somewhere for the those type of items to kind of live and 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 have a, a nice place to store it itself another outlet over there on dry on passenger side that's about in the middle and then up by that side ramp, we put some additional switches for the stall area and then the, the passenger side of the trailer. So if you do come in that side ramp, you do have some actual switches right there rather than going to the back of the trailer itself to uh, you know turn on those lights. <clears throat> so again, worm could be added to this trailer. That's something we could do. Uh, one thing that's become very popular is stall cameras. 
We've got a nice wireless system that'll tap into our running lights. <coughs> Some customers like a backup light in a, in a two camera system and one for a stall. Uh, we can do up to four cameras. So there's a lot of different things like that that we can add onto these trailers after the fact. Uh, but that is a very popular option is so you can kind of keep an eye on your actual projects as you're traveling. Over here on driver's side, there's a good look. We've got the drop windows, wrap around door again. There's a good look at that spread axle. <clears throat> but as we get up here to the front of the stall area, there's this escape door. So we've got access from the driver's side of this trailer, again, having a, a gate over it. And there's another one of those fold up steps. That way, again, transitioning in and out of this trailer, it's very, very easy to do. This is a frameless window. If you're not paying attention, you won't even see that it blends in really well with this black trailer without having the frame around it. Uh, that's become standard on the, the 22 models and moving forward, obviously this one's a 23, but we're doing that on our living quarters. Um, but again, on this option here, we wanted a big kind of picture window in that larger front tack room over that sofa so you can see in and out. Um, but that's really nice. Again, it's kind of hard to see unless you're truly looking for it um, itself. Now, again, really cool setup. This would be a great you know, trailer to show off of by having that bigger front tack room on it, having that sofa in there, the air conditioner, you got the power package. This has got a lot on it. Obviously, there's things we can do to these trailers after the fact. We have other Showstar 10 pins on order. So maybe this one isn't quite what you're looking for. We can help you out with another one or we can build you whatever you want. If you got a little bit of time, we can build you a trailer that will fit exactly what you're looking for. We do take trade-ins, whether you're downsizing, looking to upgrade, we can help you out there. We have financing available and delivery available. We could have this delivered to your doorstep as well. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on it for reference. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX 10 pin. Stock number is 5N210581. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and stay warm.